Hi, I'm Chris May, host of This Day in Weather History, brought to you by the Royal Canadian Mint. Find the new painted dime featuring blue nose in your change. Halloween is a holiday celebrated each year on October 31st in many countries. The tradition originated with the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain, when people would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off ghosts. The evening was known as All Hallows' Eve, and later it was called Halloween. Over time, Halloween evolved into a day of activities like trick-or-treating, carving jack-o'-lanterns, festive gatherings, donning costumes, and eating treats, a lot like what they did back in the old days. But how, over the centuries, has it been marked by days in weather history? 1846. The Donner Pass Tragedy. There was an early snowstorm in the Sierra Nevada mountains that piled five feet deep with around 10 meter drifts. That's 30 to 40 foot drifts. It trapped 87 pioneers. Of that, only 47 survived. 1876. In what is now modern day Bangladesh, they were completely overwhelmed by a massive and deadly storm surge measuring what was written to be waves as high as 10 to 50 feet. That's over 15 meters. It is remembered as the war cyclone to move across the Bay of Bengal during the 19th century, devastating the northeast coast of India and taking with it an estimated 100,000 lives. 1884. It was a particularly soggy, wet month of October and a brutal wet Halloween in Brownsville, Texas, when they reported 15 and three quarter inches or 400 millimeters of rain for the month. That's nearly five times its monthly normal. 1903, Arica, Chile. Located in the Atacama Desert, they're known to be dry, obviously, but they were just about to start a rainless period that would last 14 years. It was the longest dry spell ever recorded in the world, and it did not end until January 1918. 1984. A nearby tornado was the cause of a small single-engine plane crash south of Topeka, Kansas on this date in weather history. Five people were killed, including all three on board and two additional people who were on the ground. But because the locals were huddled, safely taking refuge from the tornado, they thought the horrific crashing outside was flying debris and cars and trucks being tossed about. As a result, no one investigated the crash site until the next day, November 1st. It was only then when they realized the grim reality. You're listening to This Day in Weather History, a podcast from the Weather Network in Canada, reminding you to check your change for the new painted dime featuring Blue Nose from the Royal Canadian Mint. 1987. Halloween was a wet one in the American West. Heavy rain in Southern California resulted in numerous mudslides. This was the cause of several auto accidents resulting in three deaths and 25 injuries. In that incident, the affected Mount Wilson received over three inches, that's over 76 millimeters of rain in under 24 hours. In a happy result of this deluge, however, Yakima, Washington had suffered their own record long 103 day dry spell and that came to a climactic end on this Halloween day with that very same rainfall. Now, there was a brutal and sadly deadly storm that wiped out a lot of the fun from the Halloween haunts in Quebec back in 2019, but this story really took off overnight and into the next day, so I'll hit that one up tomorrow on November 1st. So now, I have time for one more story, and this one is from 2007. The weather on October 31st of 07 may have been the best Halloween treat for kids in Southern Ontario like ever. It was 16 degrees as the ghouls and goblins took to the streets. That's six degrees warmer than the normal daytime high. And the rain held off until the last treat was collected on that night. Now, October 31st of 08 saw a virtual repeat with temperatures once again sitting in the mid-teens as the kids hit the streets. And there you are. This has been our second annual This Day in Halloween Weather History special episode. My, that is a long name, isn't it? Tomorrow is November 1st. We look at a winter-style storm in 2019 that knocked out the power for close to one 
million people in Quebec. Yeah, this is the story that I alluded to just a moment ago. And the kids in Quebec, well, they got a bonus day to sort out the chocolate from the chips. That story is tomorrow on This Day in Weather History with me, your host, Chris May, and brought to you by the Royal Canadian Mint. Find the new painted dime featuring Blue Nose in your change. See you tomorrow.